Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Mark Turner, president of the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce, and we are doing our Why Gilroy segment. And today we're with Mike Jones with Primal Canine, which is located at 8395 Forest Street here in Gilroy. Mike, thanks for being with us this morning. Hey, thanks for having me on, Mark. Of course, we appreciate your time and, and uh, joining us. Mike, as we get started, tell us a little bit about yourself. So obviously my name is Mike Jones, I'm 36. I uh, started training dogs when I was 13 uh, in rescue, uh, like in Eastside San Jose and like those, they're like my friends out there, um, you know, just kind of keeping me safe and out of trouble. Um, progressed my training uh, through personal protection sports. Uh, started Primal Canine seven and a half years ago. Uh, we, you know, we do a variety of different type of tailored balance training. Uh, and, you know, dogs are, you know, a big passion of mine and big passion of ours. and. You know, it's a, uh, I guess the Cliff Notes version is um, we've been doing this for a while and, you know, our, our goal is to help save dogs and help uh, improve people's relationships with their, with their animals. Now, Mike, as we were talking earlier, you had mentioned um, you really got started training dogs at about 13. How did, how did that occur? What brought that about at such a young age? So uh, I actually got in a little bit of trouble <laughs> and uh, my community service was working in a shelter and working with rescue animals. Uh, so I got really I got really passionate about it. And, you know, the area I grew up in and the household I grew up in wasn't really the best. So I was outside a lot. And in the area I was in, there's a lot of stray animals. So I spent a lot of my time either running away from dogs that wanted to bite me or trying to make them my friends by bribing them with whatever I could use at the time. Um, so I did a lot of reading, a lot of research. I uh, just try to figure out, you know, this whole dog thing. Um, and I just continued learning. I still continue to learn and progress, um, you know, even now with, you know, the you know, over two decades of dog training I have. I um, mean, experience from rescue to law enforcement, to sports, to service work, uh, working with dogs with disabilities, working with handlers with disabilities, um, you know, I mean, pretty much the whole gamut, really. Well, tell us uh, why Gilroy? What got you, what would cause you to invest in Gilroy here? So, um, you know, kind of going back a little bit, I, mentioned this, uh, I moved down, I moved down to a local area here about eight years ago, and I really liked the South County, like community aspect of it. You know, I like the small town feel. I like how people were just really nice and like you can get to know people. Um, so I relocated my business down here um, about two years ago, two and a half years ago. Uh, and I just didn't like where I was at. I didn't like how the community was. And then I, when I reached out to Gilroy uh, and I started talking to someone in the city, I think in zoning, I was just impressed with how like nice and how welcoming they were. Even when we went down to the city to get our business license and talking to the fire marshal and everything. Um, I was just so I was just super pumped. It felt like we were home. So once we found this location, we talked to our neighbors, we made immediate business connections and working with the city. It just was one of those like, oh, man, this is it. This is where I want to be. This is like, you know, I live five minutes from my facility. Everyone here I talked to has been really cool. Um, all the city officials, all the cops, everyone that we've had encounters with, um, you know, the businesses that we work with in the community. It was really nice. So uh, why Gilroy? Because Gilroy is pretty awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Well, glad to hear that. One of the things about the residents here and, and certainly the, the folks at the city and other organizations, they really do appreciate those who take the opportunity to invest in this community and, and uh, try to be successful at their businesses. So we certainly appreciate you being a part of our community. Tell us, what are some of the services that you provide at Primal Canine? Cool. So we're a fully tailored form of dog training. And what that means is we operate a balanced form of dog training where the dogs are associated based learners. So we create clear communication through re reinforcing positives and correcting the negatives and just helping clear, you know, basically what a dog needs, communicate to a dog like a dog. Uh, we work from regular basic pet stuff to behavioral stuff, which really got us uh, known in the dog world. Um, service dog training, uh, PTSD medical service, uh, sport, uh, sport work versus where it's competitive obedience, personal prote or sport protection, personal protection, law enforcement, um, nose work, odor work, uh, you mean, essentially you name it, we train it. But our whole goal is about creating very clear communication so we can better the life of the dog and better the life of the handler as well, the owner. So if somebody here in Gilroy just wants to do uh, some sort of training with their dog, say they just want to, just obedience training, you guys do things like that? And, and if so, how long are these, how, how long do these classes go? Yeah. So basic pet training is our number one thing. I mean, that's probably 80, 80 percent of our business because, you know, everyone, especially out here, a lot of people have dogs. Uh, we usually set up a consultation uh, with all the COVID restrictions or when the COVID restrictions were really bad. 
Um, you know, we usually talk to people on the phone. You know, my staff and I are pretty well versed, so we can kind of figure out the issue really quick. Um, and then we fit them with the packages. Our package, our packages include private lessons and group classes. Um, it also they also give homework sheets after every private lesson. Uh, you have 24/7 trainer assistance. We're highly involved because we want the best success for our clients, or our pack members as we call them. Um, and yeah, we basically bug our clients enough until like we <laughs> until um, we start getting the results that they wanted. And you know we're we're very involved and invested. Um, so we have private lessons and group classes. We also offer a board and train option where the dogs stay with us and you get lifetime training for the dog uh, forever. Oh, cool. This, I know you guys do some 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 neat things in the community and you plan on doing some some things here in Gilroy. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah. So uh, my goal, um, you know, basically anywhere we go is we want to be involved in the community as, as much in the community as possible. We want to give back um, to the people who need it. Um, so what we've done in the last year during COVID uh, is that we did a food program uh, in Morgan Hill at Margarita's. Uh, where once a week we would do about 20 meals. Uh, each meal would feed a family of five. And we would do, we pay for all of that. People just had to call and say, hey, this is the Primal Canada Food Program. And they would give a window of time so where they can come pick up their taco platters. Um, and then that was for free. We did that for about a month and a half. Um, and what I want to do in Gilroy is I want to do the same thing to help the you know people who are struggling, because especially with unemployment rate and you know being very, barely able to work and not really getting the assistance that people need, uh, we're going to do another food program over here. Uh, we also offer up our facility uh, Monday through Friday for with people who can't, who don't have Wi-Fi, so their kids can do distance learning. Um, so we we've offered to do it. We will set up a little classroom setting in our facility. You know, practice social distancing, and that way the kids can get you know do their schooling, um, and you know, in a safe, cool environment, especially with the random heat wave we've been <laughs> we've been getting lately, and use our Wi-Fi. So. You know, our, we just want to, especially with Gilroy being as accepting as they were to us and being just the awesome community that they are, you know, we wanted to give back as much as we can. So we'll be doing a lot more of that. Now, for those folks, though, that want to do dog training, obedience training or other another service that you provide, are you guys doing that at your facility now? Yes. So with the restrictions, we're not really in them. So we do practice. We do practice social distancing. We wear masks. Um, you know, we try to keep groups as small as possible, but we are fully active. Uh, we also do online training as well for people who are a little more at risk and don't feel comfortable dealing with that. So we've been doing that for a few years. So we're very well versed in that communication as well. Um, so we offer both aspects of those uh, training right now. Very good. Anybody who's watching this and is interested in uh, calling you or getting in touch with you to get signed up for classes, what's the best way for them to reach you? Uh, hit our, Go to our website, www.primalcanine.com. Uh, send in an email. That's the best way to get a hold of us. Um, sometimes our phones blow up and we miss phone calls um, and we try to get back to everybody, but sometimes it falls through uh, the cracks. So we would just tell people, just get on, get onto our email. Um, and if you don't go to primalcanine.com, you can go to primalcanine at gmail.com and send an email through there. Um, but you know, email is the best way to get in contact with us. Well, sounds good, Mike. Thanks again for being with us this morning on our Why Gilroy segment. I'm Mark Turner, president of the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce.